Good afternoon. Um, I'll try and keep it short and also um, contrary to, I'll let some of those slides just go by because we're, uh, uh, what are we beginning with? I had a longer slideshow, but uh, some of the, I think I'm here more to report that uh, as a university, I mean, the, the, the setting up of Nalanda uh, was something that Government of India shared from the outset with uh, the East Asia Summit. ASEAN is at the core of that grouping. Uh, I think our, our region, uh, the, the countries in the region are uh, is integral partners to the project. I think it's a good time for us to come back and report and let you know a little bit more about the university, which has been, which is now up and running. Uh, this is just by way of introducing the university logo and our central idea that guides what the university is about, man living in harmony with man, man living in harmony with nature, and man living as part of nature. Uh, that is the Nalanda uh, identity, and those are the three points that, uh, to a large extent, inform a lot of what we are doing. Um, so as we go along with this story, I think the university sees itself as uh, an institution where we are looking at knowledge without boundaries. Um, our first two schools are up and running, historical studies, ecology, and environment studies. We're launching the School of Buddhist Studies, Philosophy, and Comparative Religion in August 2016. Um, and we want to focus on uh, what these academic uh, uh, all right, so we'll go straight. I'll tell you a little bit about our way of learning. Uh, I can see that somebody's been very efficient with our slides while I was here. Uh, I think the three things that inform a lot of the research that we do is that it is interdisciplinary, it is experiential. I think one of the biggest positives of being a student at Nalanda is that we have developed a curriculum that is rooted in where we are, in the context of our location. We are a non-metropolitan university we're one of the few universities in India that has that locale, but we think it is our strength. So clearly, number one, we have a curriculum rooted in our context. Number two, Asian interconnections is something that informs all of our curricula in all schools. Uh, we're also uh, looking at interdisciplinarity in all s in, in our, uh, between schools, and each of our schools has specific focus areas. So I think a lot of the learning at Nalanda is by doing. It is about, there is a strong research focus. We are a postgraduate research institution. Um, so there's a lot of uh, emphasis on uh, these areas. We have impressive partnerships with international organizations. Um, ICs from Singapore is uh, one that uh, will, you know, we, we are hosting somebody from there. Um, we, we are just on the verge of signing an MOU with Peking University, uh, the School of Forestry at Yale, the uh, School of uh, Agriculture at Urbana-Champaign, uh, CIMIT, the Borlaug Institute. So there are some impressive partnerships that are happening. Uh, what we are managing to develop, even though we still are in temporary uh, surroundings, is clearly an international community. We have faculty from many countries. We've had p uh, faculty from Korea, from Singapore. We currently have faculty from the US, from Italy, from Germany. Uh, we have students from Japan, Laos, B Bhutan, and Myanmar. Uh, we have visiting scholars from other countries. Uh, we are already teaching Chinese. We are, we are teaching Korean and sing uh, Sanskrit already. Chinese will begin with the School of Buddhist Studies next semester. So, And we already have a multilingual collection in the library. So I think uh, all in all, uh, endowments are coming in, uh, both from governments and from individuals. Uh, of course, we also know that the Singapore uh, donors were on our, with us last month. Uh, Singapore has a group that is donating the library for Nalanda. Uh, the idea is to design, build, and deliver the library for new Nalanda. Uh, this is just some snapshots of visitors who have been coming in, uh, general life on campus. These are our temporary facilities, but we have a uh, uh, we have facilities in Rajgir that are uh, competitive. Uh, we have a good uh, student hall and um, uh, a good office block come living uh, space for our faculty. Uh, and we're now moving ahead. These are just glimpses of our design competition. At the end of our global design competition, 
Uh, this was what new Nalanda is supposed to look like. So I'll just quickly let you see some images of what is going to be a net zero campus. It's probably the largest ground up net zero campus that has been attempted anywhere. Uh, that means net zero energy, water waste, uh, and emissions. Uh, so some of the images is from the new campus that should be should commence construction very soon is what I will leave you with, including a first look, I think, at the new uh, library that we have from uh, Singapore. Um, and we're hoping in the next 25 years ahead, Nalanda will become the space where uh, the new Asian Renaissance will uh, take place. We will be able to match the excellence of old Nalanda. Uh, we will be able to respond to the needs of the world. And once again, uh, recover uh, a lot of valuable old insights, linkages, I think a lot of things that the people in the civilizational dialogue session we have talked about. We are going to have a, uh, uh, sorry, I put a timer for myself. We, we will have an archive and resource center we're hoping to become the hub where Asia once again meets intellectually and rediscovers linkages. So these are just some images. Thank you.